Hi, my name is Yun Zhu Li. I'm Hao He. We are PhD students from MIT. Today, we are presenting to you our recent work on learning compositional Kuhn-Mann operators for model-based control. Compositionality is common in our daily life. Many ordinary objects contain repetitive subcomponents, ropes and soft robots, granular materials such as coffee beans, Lego blocks, or modeling clay. These objects are known to be very hard for modeling and control using traditional methods. This work takes a step forward in solving these challenging tasks. More formally, we are given observations from a dynamical system of unknown dynamics that takes in the current state xt and the external control signals ut, and then generates the new state at t plus 1. To model and control the dynamical system, we need to identify the system dynamics f and come up with ways to generate a sequence of control signals, leading the system to a desired state. Prior methods such as interaction networks use graph neural networks to model the physical interactions between different components. However, the learned dynamic is highly nonlinear, which makes it hard to adapt to environments of unknown physical parameters and challenging to synthesize control signals. Another direction, rooted from the Kuhn-Mann operator theory, learns a function g that maps the original state x to a higher dimensional latent space y, such that the dynamics becomes linear in this latent space. The learned dynamics is linear, which makes it easy to adapt and control. However, it is not designed to handle compositional system, thus lacks the generalization power. As a result, both directions has its own pros and cons. In this work, we combine the graph neural networks and the Kuhn-Mann operator theory, taking the best of both worlds and propose the compositional Kuhn-Mann operators. Our model can generalize to systems of different configurations and different numbers of components. Its internal linear structure also allows it to quickly adapt to systems of unknown physical parameters and enable efficient control synthesis. Specifically, our model uses graph neural network to encode the system state x and generate object center embedding g. In the embedding space, the dynamics is linear as shown in the equation. The linear coefficient has two parts which we call the Cooper matrix k and the control matrix l. Considering the embedding is object centric, it is nature that the Cooper matrix is blockwise, where every block encodes an interaction between two objects. Further, the blocks represent the same physical interaction, shares the parameters. Thus, the total amount of parameters only depends on the number of different interactions and does not scale with the number of objects. This provides the good scalability of our model. To make the prediction of the future system states, we also have a graph neural network to decode the object central embeddings. Using the learned linear dynamics, we can perform system identification and control very efficiently. When adapting to a new system with different physical properties, we just need to solve for the coefficient k and l. Given observed data x, this can be easily done by least square fitting. While performing control with our model, we can formulate it as an optimization problem with linear constraints, which can be solved efficiently by quadratic programming. Now let me show you some experiment results. The first task is to manipulate a rope by applying forces to the top of the rope. The first row is our model's prediction. Our model only takes the initial state as input and keep predicting future state under a given action sequence. We can see our prediction is very close to the ground truth shown in the second row. Here, we demonstrate the control results. The red dots show the target shape we want the rope to be after certain timestamps. We use our model to synthesize the control signal and apply them to the ground truth physical simulator to generate the results. Note that in all these test cases, the number of masses, the gravity, and the spring constant are different. In the second task, we consider controlling a soft robot composed of boxes with different materials. Some of the boxes have actuators which can perform contracting or expanding. Here, the first row shows our prediction and the second row shows the ground truth for simulating the soft robots. Now let's see some control results of swinging the soft robot to a certain shape. The target shape is shown as red grids. Note that each test case has different number of boxes with different stiffness. We also have a third task of controlling soft robot to swim in the fluid. Here, we show the simulation results. Here are the control results for the swimming robot. Again, the red grids are the target shape. In summary, we propose to combine graph neural networks and Kuhn-Mann operator theory. Our formulation captures the compositional structures of the underlying system. It generalizes to systems with variable numbers of components and systems with different configurations. Its internal linear structure allows it to quickly adapt to systems of unknown physical parameters and enable efficient control synthesis.